This video contains disturbing content, and is not suitable for viewers who have a fear of the unknown. Viewer discretion advised. The quest for discovery, both old and new, is part of what separates us from the rest of the animal kingdom. Since the world we live in has largely been mapped and plotted, we urban adventurers turn our sights toward the relics of old and the ruins of the ancient past. Abandoned places are great for letting the imagination run wild. Whether they were once used for housing or work, buildings and sites which have been forgotten and allowed to fall into disrepair are fascinating glimpses into the past. Here are the top 20 of the most amazing abandoned areas. Abandoned Sea Forts, England. During the Second World War, the British Royal Navy constructed a series of sea forts for an advanced line of defense against inbound air raids and potential sea invasions from the Axis powers. The Monsell Sea Forts still stand today, silent and abandoned a few meters above the North Sea. One, however, remains inhabited. Now a nation of its own, referred to as the Principality of Sealand. These sea forts are a favorite of maritime explorers, a lonely collection of stilted fortresses not far off the coast of eastern England. Hymiri Cactus Park Located in southern Okinawa, Japan, the Hymiri Park, also referred to as the Cactus Park, was once a popular theme park containing over 450 specimens of cactus. The park has been abandoned for decades due to mismanagement and several accidents and roller coasters. Since then, a mysterious fog enshrouded the weathered and forgotten attraction, and the place was never again reopened. New South China Mall Its 7,100,000 square feet of leasable mall space featuring a replica of Venice's St. Mark's Bell Tower, Paris's Arc de Triomphe, a 2.1 kilometer canal with gondolas, a 553 meter indoor outdoor roller coaster, and seven zones modeled after seven cities. The largest mall in the world, the New South Mall in Dongguan, China, owes its poor fortune to both flaws in the mall's location and the Chinese property bubble. Splendid China, Florida. In 1993, a new $100 million theme park called Splendid China, opened in Kissimmee, Florida. From the beginning, the park was plagued with controversy and disapproval, though a Chinese tourist company apparently owned the park. It was said by many that the Chinese government actually owned and operated the attraction. The park was the site of numerous protests and eventually closed in 2003 due to low attendance. Matsuo Ghost Mine, Japan Matsuo Iwate, better known as the Matsuo Ghost Mine, was a prosperous village and home to one of Japan's largest sulfur mines, the Matsuo Guzan. This ill-fated mine suffered several misfortunes and fatal accidents. It was later closed in the late 1970s and was completely abandoned. But here's the chilling part. Shortly after closing the Matsuo Guzan, a thick fog surrounded the village, so dense that you could barely see your hands in front of your face. Also, the mine itself is allegedly haunted, 
and the souls of the workers who died in the caverns still wander this Japanese sulfur mine. Some also say it was cursed, as evidenced by the fog. Still, haunted or not, you can't deny that that is one creepy tale. Krakow, Italy. Krakow is located in the region of Basilicata and the province of Matera. This medieval town is typical of those in the area, built up with long undulating hills all around that allow for the farming of wheat and other crops. Krakow can be dated back to 1060, when the land was in the ownership of Archbishop Arnaldo, Bishop of Tricorico. In 1891, the population of Krakow stood at well over 2,000 people, although there had been many problems with poor agricultural conditions, creating desperate times. Between 1892 and 1922, over 1,300 people moved from the town to North America. Poor farming was added to by earthquakes, landslides, and war, all of which contributed to this mass migration. Between 1959 and 1972, Krakow continued to be plagued by these landslides and quakes. Kolmanskup Namibia. Kolmanskup is a ghost town in southern Namibia. It was a small mining village and is now a popular tourist destination. It developed after the discovery of diamonds in the area in 1908 to provide shelter for workers from the harsh environment of the Namibia desert. The village was built like a German town with facilities like a hospital, ballroom, power station, school, skittle alley, theater, and sport hall. The town declined after World War I as diamond prices crashed and operations moved. It was abandoned in 1956. Balestrino, Italy. In the late 19th century, the northwest coast of Italy was struck by numerous earthquakes. One of these, in 1887, destroyed some villages in the area of Savona, and although no official records show Balestrino was affected, it coincides with much repair work and a dip in population. Finally, in 1953, the town was abandoned due to geological instability, and the remaining inhabitants were moved to safer ground to the west. The derelict part of Balestrino that has stood untouched and inaccessible for 50 plus years is currently undergoing planning for redevelopment. Nara Dreamland, Japan Nara Dreamland is an abandoned amusement park in Nara, Japan from 1961. It was the Japanese answer to Southern California's legendary Disneyland and shares several of its themes and features, including its very own Main Street USA. It was closed in 2006 and abandoned without getting demolished because the amount of visitors declined. Guards regularly patrol the grounds, fining trespassers, but no plans to demolish it are currently in the works. Until its future is decided, it remains a decaying vision of misplaced American dreams. Yashima, Japan. Yashima is an imposing plateau to the northeast of Takamatsu, the second largest city on Shikoku. During an upsurge in mid-80s Japanese economy, the people of Takamatsu decided that the plateau was an excellent place to encourage tourism, so began pouring money into developing the sacred land. Six hotels were built, along with many parks and trails, even an aquarium. However, somewhere along the line, people realized that Yashima Plateau wasn't such an attractive opportunity after all. Visitor numbers then dropped as millions of yen were lost on inflated real estate deals. All of the hotels and shops were forced to shut down, as was the cable car that at one point transported many to Yashima's heights. Kadikchan, Russia through most of the 20th century, coal was a key energy source for the Russians. After a large deposit of coal was discovered in Far East Siberia, 
government authorities ordered gulag workers to construct a town at the site of the said discovery. But to get to the area, gulag workers were also required to build the Kolima Highway, a road so remote and hazardous in its construction that it was named the Road of Bones. Kadikachan is completely isolated from both eastern and western Russia. The closest city center is a several day drive, and much of the year weather conditions make the highway impassable. In 1996, an explosion happened in a coal mine and the mines were closed. 12,000 inhabitants were evacuated to other places, leaving the town empty and silent. As of 2010, the settlement was officially completely depopulated. Humberstone, Chile Humberstone, Chile was built around the rush to produce sodium nitrate as a fertilizer. However, when the American economy went under during the Great Depression, demand significantly dropped. By the time the world economy had recovered, most investors had shifted their interests to other fertilizers, leaving this town quite literally in the dust. The town suffered a slow demise, taking three decades to become completely abandoned. It wasn't until 1961 that the factory offices shut down completely. The towns were left to sit as they were when the residents left. The dry sand from the encroaching deserts drifted through the abandoned schools and the theater. At the factories, the machinery remains as it was left, and the workers' homes still stand there today. Bodie, California Founded in 1876, Bodie is the authentic American ghost town. It started life as a small mining settlement, though found even more fortune from nearby mines that attracted thousands. Dwindling resources proved fatal, however, and although greatly reduced in prominence, Bodie held a permanent residency through most of the 20th century. Today, Bodie is preserved in a state of arrested decay. Only a small part of the town survives. Visitors can walk through the deserted streets of a town and interiors remain as they were left and stocked with goods. Bodie is open all year, but the long road that leads to it is usually closed in the winter due to heavy snowfall. Ordor sur Glane, France. Ordor sur Glane is a town in west central France. On June 10th, 1944, the village had the extremely bad fortune of being confused with nearby Ordor sur Veres by a Nazi panzer unit, which believed that a Waffen SS officer was being held by the villagers there. The Nazis massacred 642 men, women, and children with incendiary devices and machine gun fire before the mistake was cleared up. The French president ordered the town to be rebuilt, and it was, but he also ordered that the ruins of the old town should stay as a reminder, and they did. A plaque, roughly translating to, so as not to forget, is the only modern addition to this town. City Hall Subway Station, New York City Under the busy streets of New York City rest a perfectly preserved monument to that city's transportation history. The City Hall Subway Station was first constructed over 100 years ago, a part of New York's earliest underground transport network. It was shut down in 1945, where it lay dormant and untouched. In video game related media, the subway station was also featured as a location or level in several video games. Wonderland Amusement Parks, Beijing. The sprawling amusement park complex outside Beijing was abandoned halfway through its construction in 1998. Now it stands empty in the middle of a field otherwise good for crops. Finished fairy tale facades, housing empty spaces, 
as well as huge hollow buildings dot the complex. A giant metal skeleton of a mall rusts next to completed walkways and food kiosks. Even the giant Disneyland-like castle at the entrance to the park was unfinished, making the structure look like a cross between an eerie missile silo and a cathedral of brutalist architecture. Centralia, Pennsylvania. The coal industry was the principal employer in the community until the 1960s, when most of the companies went out of business. An exposed vein of coal ignited in 1962, thanks to weekly garbage burning, and as a result, a huge underground coal fire commenced. Attempts to extinguish the fire were unsuccessful, and it continued to burn throughout the 1960s and 70s. Adverse health effects were reported by several people due to the carbon monoxide being produced. In 1979, locals became aware of the scale of the problem when a gas station reported a fuel temperature of 172 degrees. This provoked widespread attention, boosted in 1981 when a 12-year-old almost plunged to his death as a 4-foot-wide 150 foot deep sinkhole suddenly opened beneath his feet. In 1984, 42 million dollars were spent on relocation, with most residents moving to the nearby Mount Caramel and Ashland towns. In 1992, Pennsylvania condemned all houses, and the fire still rages on. According to experts, it could continue to do so for another 250 years. Varasha, Cyprus. Varasha, or the Ghost City, is an old worn down town. But why was it abandoned? On May 11th, 1984, the UN Security Council claimed that attempts to settle any part of Varasha by people other than its current inhabitants is inadmissible. Because the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus are not allowed to resettle in the area, and thus the area is under the TRNC's control. This led to the abandonment of the Varasha district. Since 1974, entry to the district is forbidden, with the exception of the TSK personnel. Few have ventured inside. It is a dangerous area, as the military are trained to shoot on sight. Gunganjima, Japan. Hashima Island, meaning border island, is one among 505 uninhabited islands in the Nagasaki Prefecture of Japan. It began in 1890 when a company called Mitsubishi bought the island and began a project to retrieve coal from the bottom of the sea. This attracted much attention, and in 1916, they were forced to build Japan's first large concrete building on the island, a block of apartments that would both accommodate the seas of workers and protect them from hurricanes. As petroleum replaced coal in Japan in the 1960s, coal mines began shutting down all over the country, and Hashima's mines were no exception. In 1974, Mitsubishi officially announced the closing of the mine, and today it is empty and bare, with travel currently prohibited. The island was the location for the 2000 film Battle Royale 2, and inspired the final level of the popular Asian video game, Killer7. Pripyat, Ukraine Pripyat is an abandoned city in a zone of alienation in northern Ukraine. The city had been home to most of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant workers. Then, the Chernobyl disaster struck in 1986, and the place was abandoned due to the threat of radiation. However, at some time, at the beginning of the 21st century, the place was looted heavily, and nothing was left behind. The city will not be habitable for humans for several years to come, and even then, It'll be a long time before people consider it healthy to develop once again. 